All right, guys, before you go to the Bahamas, I'm going to show you a couple of things you may want to know about before leaving is to have your U.S. passport with you at all times uh, when you travel out of the country and small vessel reporting system, SVRS. And you can get this at your uh, U.S. Customs and Border Protection Office. This is for you uh, as a captain to call in and uh, that way you don't have to show up at immigration. But everybody in the boat needs to have this card and has to have a VR number here and also with the name. And this is the number that you call in to report your arrival when you get to Florida. Uh, if you don't have this, you have to show up at immigration when you arrive in Miami. And it's, it's a hassle because you have to go where the cruise ship is at Miami. And it takes a little while to get there, a lot of waste of time. Um, so if you have this, all you have to do is before you get off your boat at the dock, you can't get off your boat. You have to call in this number here for customs to report your arrival at the United States. Um, remember, you can't touch ground. You got to stay in your dock. Uh, when you get clearance by them, then you can get off the dock. Uh, but everybody on the boat, uh, if they don't have this, you have to take your crew as a captain. You have to take them to immigration customs. So remember that only you as a captain, if you're alone by yourself, you can call and you don't have to show at immigration. But if you have a crew that don't have the reporting number, the BR number, you as a captain will have to take them to, uh, to report over there and uh, get clear by customs and immigration. Now, when you arrive at the Bahamas, this is some of the forms. I think I'm missing another one, but they will give it to you there when you arrive at the Bahamas. This is the Bahama Customs Department Antwerp Report Pleasure Vessel. You got to fill all this out. And you got the Bahama Custom Declaration of Health. So if you're sick, just like a cruise ship, you have to fill this out. If you're sick or anything, you have to let them know. Um, but you shouldn't be traveling if you're really sick. And the Bahama Custom Clearance. So this is another form you have to fill out. And you know, list your crew members. Um, you know, master, passengers, all in this information sheet here. And again, they'll give this to you over there. Um, me personally, every time that I uh, get to the Bahamas, I ask them for a form like this. All the forms. So that way I can fill them before I go in my next trip. Because if you get there and you got to fill all these forms, you're going to take about easy 30 to 45 minutes filling these forms so if you print them um, I think you have to go to Bahamas.com you can print these forms remember this is a legal form so if you your printer does not do legal paper then you you won't be able to print them so uh, what I recommend is when you get to the Bahamas always ask them for a copy that way you take a copy home and next time you go to the Bahamas you can fill them out all right and this is the form of the uh, welcome to the islands of the Bahamas. And you gotta fill all this out. And when you leave, you have to leave this form, the second copy, you have to leave it with your uh, dock master. Just give it to him um, because Bahamas wanna know you left the country when you said you were gonna leave. So fill it out, do the survey and just returns to your dock master. And always call your custom and immigrations because rules can change. Um, they're not the same all the time. So rules can change. Like customs likes for you to report them that you leave in the country. Custom wants to know that. So that's something you may want to do. You, want, may, you may want to let customs know you leave in the country when you're coming back. So that's the process you got to do. So this is a good thing to have, the BR number, because me as going alone all the time, all I gotta do is, when I come back, call this number in the back here, they give me clearance, and I'm good to go. Back to US. 
All right, guys, hope it helps. If you have any questions, just comment below, and I'll try to help you as much as possible. Uh, try to follow all the directions the customs and immigrations give you. Um, that way you don't get in any trouble. It's a very serious uh, issue if you get in trouble with them. So, you know, that way they don't get upset when you come back to the U.S. All right, guys, so um, I hope this helps. And stay safe in the water. Have all the precautions every time you uh, leave the country. And, again, have all your paperwork ready if you can. That way it speeds up the process uh, with Bahamas or any other country that you travel to. Thank you for watching and navigate safe.